you remember Fudge? Back in the 90s, it was a super hyped TV show based on the best-selling novels by Judy Bloom. There was even a TV movie that aired in prime time that starred Brady Bunch veterans Eve Plum and Florence Henderson. TV Guide twice listed Fudge as one of the 10 best shows for children, but even though the show was geared up for success, almost nobody remembers it. With all the hype that surrounded it, why doesn't anyone remember Fudge? Fudge was an American children's television series that ran from 1995 to 1997 for a total of 24 episodes split across two seasons, starting on ABC and ending its run on CBS. Before the first season aired, a full-length made-for-TV movie called Fudgemania aired in prime time and acted as a pilot for the show. I remember watching all sorts of ads for Fudgemania. On ABC. And when it aired, I made sure my mom, brother, and I were all camped out in front of the TV ready to watch it. The made-for-TV movie and the show were based on the popular young adults books Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing and Super Fudge by Judy Bloom. After watching Fudgemania, I became super interested in Judy Bloom and Fudge as a book series. Bloom was born and raised in New Jersey and graduated from New York University in 1961. She studied to become a teacher, but there was another agenda too. You married while you were still in college. I did. I mean, that was my job, too. Go to college and get a degree and meet someone while you're there. This was my mother talking. After college, Bloom got married and had her first child. Purely as an attempt to entertain herself in her new role as a homemaker, she began writing stories while her children were in nursery school. I got married very young. I had two babies, really young. And it was like, yeah, it was cool, but it was like, <laughs> I stressful. need this other thing. I need this other thing in my life, and I didn't know what it was. Yeah. You know, I mean, it it couldn't. It could have been art or music something or was dancing. Missing in your life. Yes, something was missing in my life. As much as I love taking care of babies, something was missing. That is it. And what was missing was that wonderful feeling of doing creative work. Following two years of publisher rejections, Bloom published her first book, The One in the Middle is the Green Kangaroo, in 1969. A year later, Bloom published her second book, Iggy's House. Did you get a lot of rejections at first? Yes. Two years. Two which years isn't that bad when you think about it. I cried the first time, and then I didn't because determination is what gets you through. That same year, her third book, Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret, was a breakthrough bestseller and a trailblazing novel in young adult literature. The decade that followed proved to be her most prolific, with 13 more books being published, including the first three books of the Fudge series, Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing, otherwise known as Sheila the Great, and Super Fudge in 1980. But it wouldn't be for another 10 years that the next book in the Fudge series would be released. Fudgemania was published in 1990. Five years later, it got picked up for television by ABC. In a high-rise apartment building in downtown New York City lives a young Peter Hatcher and his family, his sensible mom, his goofball dad, and worst of all, his troublemaking little brother Farley, better known as Fudge. Peter was played by Jake Richardson. His mom was played by Eve Plum, who played Jan in The Brady Bunch. His dad was played by Forrest Witt, and his brother Fudge was played by Luke Tarzatana. The series followed the life of Peter Hatcher as the main character. Peter struggles with the everyday trials of young adulthood, juggling the pressures of school, his friends, his parents, and of course, Fudge. At Peter's school, he hung out with his friend Jimmy Fargo while avoiding his arch nemesis Sheila Tubman, who is obsessed with teasing, bullying, being the boss, 
and cooties. Each episode of Fudge dove into the trials and tribulations of what life was really like for a fourth grade nothing. The show, like the books, explored the various aspects of loving siblings, despite the rivalry. A big appeal of the sitcom was that it starred Eve Plum, who had not had a leading role since The Brady Bunch. Sporting dark, cut hair, it was very interesting to check back in with her as an adult after all these years. On top of that, Florence Henderson also guest starred on the show as Eve's mom. Fudge almost acted as a mini Brady Bunch reunion in this way. The sitcom was shot with a single camera, for which it was a pioneer at the time, since almost every other 90s sitcom like Seinfeld or Friends was shot with a three camera system. In fact, using a single camera didn't become a popular trend until the 2000s with shows like Scrubs and Arrested Development, and today almost all sitcoms are shot with the single camera. It's unknown what made them go with the single camera route, but my theory is that they did it to create a feeling of intimacy or realism with the characters which is something Judy Bloom is known for, often to varying degrees of controversy. Bloom was one of the first young adult authors to write some of her novels focused on teenagers about the controversial topics of masturbation, menstruation, teen sex, birth control, and death. For example, in 1975, Bloom published the now frequently banned novel Forever, which was groundbreaking in young adult literature as the first novel to display teen sex as normal. Bloom explained that she was inspired to write this novel when her daughter, 13 years old at the time, says she wanted to read a book where the characters have sex but do not die afterward. Over the course of her career, she has written over 25 novels, and many of her stories tackled complex subjects such as family conflict, bullying, body image, and sexuality. Bloom has expressed that she writes about these subjects, particularly sexuality, because it is what she believes children need to know about, and it was what she wondered about as a child. I wanted to be honest, and I felt that, you know, no adult had been honest with me. We didn't have the information that we should have had. However, the mature topics in her books have generated criticism and controversy. Parents, librarians, book critics, and political groups have wanted her books to be banned. When her first books were published in the 1970s, Bloom has recalled facing little censorship, but with the election of Ronald Reagan in 1980, the number of book censors rapidly grew. 80s was very, very bad. That it was the height of censorship. It's still happening all the time. Not necessarily my books, but lots of books. It Parents is are getting cuckoo. Parents are getting really even more cuckoo than they were then. Conservative and religious groups continuously attempt to ban Are You There, Goddess Me, Margaret for the novel's portrayal of a young girl going through puberty, claiming that it violates certain religious views. Sexual education is not a child's world. She also recalls that the principal of her children's elementary school would not put that book in the school library because the story involves menstruation. In fact, four of Bloom's books were included in the American Library Association's list of top 100 most banned books of the 1990s. And she is one of the most frequently challenged authors of the 21st century. What can someone expect from a Judy Bloom novel? Oh, well, I can only tell you what I expect of myself. And I'll try not to cry because I'm very <laughs> emotional. Um, I expect from myself and what I wanted when I started out as a writer, what I promised myself is that I would be honest. I would be honest in the stories that I told and honest and true to my characters. And um, I wouldn't worry about, you know, what anybody thought. I would just do what was, what I felt was right for them, for the characters and to the stories yeah. that I told. Fudge was canceled in 1997. Unlike the book series, the show wasn't very popular and was canceled after its second season due to disappointing viewership numbers. Jake Richardson went on to star in Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves, and he made appearances in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, Clerks 2, and Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. After Fudge, Eve Plum made appearances on many shows, including Keenan and Kel, That 70s Show, and Blue Bloods. Forrest Witt appeared in Chicago Hope, Shiloh Falls, and Rumble 
Strip, and Luke Tarzitano starred in Over the Top and made guest appearances on other 90s sitcoms like Suddenly Susan and Frasier. As for Judy Bloom, she currently resides in Key West where, in addition to writing books, she and her husband opened a non-profit bookstore called Books and Books. Excuse me, I'm doing a report for Judy Bloom book. Do you have anything you could recommend me? Well, yeah, probably, because I'm Judy Bloom. She has also been an activist against banned books in America. For decades, she has been reaching out to other writers, as well as teachers and librarians, to join the fight against censorship. This led Bloom to join the National Coalition Against Censorship, which aims to protect the freedom to read. I'm here because, like every um, girl my age, um, I grew up reading Judy Bloom, and she taught us all about ourselves. Even though TV Guide twice listed Fudge as one of the 10 best shows for children, 25 years later the show is largely forgotten. Why doesn't anyone remember Fudge? I think it has to do with a few things. Even though I loved the show, there were no breakout stars. There were no quotable or memorable moments, and therefore there was no lasting impact on pop culture. It almost felt like a precursor to Malcolm in the Middle, which greatly overshadowed Fudge when it premiered just a couple years later. In fact, only one episode of Fudge exists online, and that's Fudgemania, the movie. No episodes of the actual Fudge show exist to watch. With so little Fudge media existing online, I ended up purchasing two VHS tapes of the show and converted them to a digital format just for this episode. I wanted to purchase more tapes, but I could only find these two anywhere online. The whole experience inspired me to create a sister YouTube channel that I am calling The Rare Media Archive. If you are interested in watching full episodes of Fudge or the Fudgemania movie, they are available in their entirety on this other channel. I will continue re storing rare and lost 80s and 90s children's media and releasing them to the rare media archive. No commentary, just preservation of original source material so they don't get lost to time. As for Judy Bloom, her novels have sold over 82 million copies and have been translated into 32 languages. They have been read by millions and have flourished throughout generations. Judy Bloom has won more than 90 literary awards, including three Lifetime Achievement Awards in the United States. Personally, I had a small connection with this show. In 1995, as part of a promotional effort for Fudge, Jake Richardson was doing an autograph signing at my local Barnes & Noble. I was the same age at the time, and it was my first time meeting a celebrity. I ended up having him sign my copy of Super Fudge, something that I treasured and kept with me until I misplaced it during a divorce a couple years ago. I was so hyped for meeting him that I awkwardly asked him if he wanted to join my soccer team. Of course he said no. I don't know what I was thinking. But I remember feeling shame and embarrassment for even asking. It's something that still makes me cringe a little bit when I think back on it. For Judy Bloom, the elements in her work that I and other readers love most is her openness and honesty regarding issues like divorce, sexuality, puberty, and bullying, the very thing that others criticize and try to censor her over. What is the most important message you can give your readers about growing up? <sighs> that's a good question, and that's a really hard question. It's my last question. It's hard work growing up, you know? It's never easy. It's, it's real life, and so there's ups and downs. There's good days and bad days, and you just have to know that as hard as it may be, that it's gonna get easier. Art is human. Art is about being human. Things are going to happen in your life that are going to be confusing and it's going to hurt. I don't think life is about being perfect or about ignoring messy truths. I think life is about experiencing life. People like Judy Bloom help me feel less alone in the world. To me, that is her legacy. Even if one day I too forget about Fudge, I will always remember Judy Bloom. There's joy in life even after terrible things happen. Terrible things do happen. We can't predict when or what, but we're humans and we go on.